Somebody asked me to do a video today about why do men cheat? Why do they want more than one woman? Now, in my opinion, it's going to be because they're not satisfying one of the women that they're with. And they're seeking uh, approval because one woman, one woman is going to find flaws. They're going to be like, well, you need to do this. You need to do that. That's not good enough. You need to do more. So he doesn't want to give this up, but he wants to feel like a man. So he goes and finds another woman who he thinks is going to approve of him. And this woman might be so desperate and lonely that she will think he's perfect. So she's not going to nag him like the other woman is, the main woman. So the side chick, I, I would call the side chick. After so long of being with him, she's going to see flaws in him too. And so then he has to go find another woman that's not gonna, that doesn't know him, that doesn't know his flaws, his problems, his downfalls, his all that. So he has to go find another one. And, <clears throat> you know, before too long, she's going to see it too. So now he's in like a love triangle or square now because there's four people now. Um, one, what the side chick wants more time. The main woman wants him to do better. And the, the side chick to the side chick is probably just using him for something. Okay, because um, first of all, she's probably not getting enough time. She's probably just using him to fill a slot a phone bill, you know, a lonely weekend or something, okay? So men often have other women because their main woman sees too many flaws in them. And instead of fixing the flaws and improving upon themselves, they do not take responsibility and they will just go and find another woman who they can uh, be with until they start seeing their flaws too. But eventually all the side chicks will probably fall away because they'll be tired of waiting and then they'll see his flaws and they'll be like, you know what? I see why you cheat on your main chick because she probably sees all this stuff too and constantly nags you to fix it, but you can't afford to leave because y'all have a house or y'all have kids or y'all are married. So y'all are stuck together and now I'm getting what she's probably disgusted about you know so they wise up eventually and they see you know all his flaws so then he has to go find new side chicks but basically certain men because I'm not gonna say all men cheat but certain men cheat because they don't feel like a man because they don't take the initiative to be the best man they can be okay so they just go and be part man with this person, part man with this person, part man with this person, okay? Because usually the side chick, she's not gonna ask for her bills to be paid. She's not gonna ask for him to be a good father to the kids. She's not gonna ask for him to be on time for something. She's not gonna ask for him to dress appropriately to go out and meet, you know, certain people. She's not gonna ask him to, you know, try to get, um, more education, take some classes online to get a bigger picture. She's not gonna be asking that of him. But the woman, his main woman, is asking him to improve because she's actually probably moving up and he's not. So the relationship is becoming unbalanced and he's feeling that. So he has to go make himself feel better by cheating, okay? So men cheat for different reasons, okay? 
Um, they will tell you the story that the woman is the villain. They will tell you, oh, she doesn't listen to me anymore. Oh, she's not who she used to be. Oh, this, this, and that. But really what it is is that she's here and he's here. And she's looking down on him. And he's like, well, I don't feel like a man anymore. So I got to go find another woman. Um, sometimes they lack a backbone. And they can't just up and leave the main chick because they feel like, you know, why? Why? I, I can't leave. I can't leave. I, what would I do without her? I might talk smack. I might talk smack. I might talk smack. But I'm never leaving. Okay. I just, I just use you to vent. Okay. I'm just venting to you and using you because you're desperate and available. Okay. To the side chick. I'm not paying any of your bills. I'm not going to leave my main chick for you you're just there for me i'm selfish and i need validation because i can't stand up to my main woman because she will kill me and look at me crazy divorce me and leave me broke so i look to you for that because i can't be what she wants me to be so this is why men cheat and sometimes men cheat because they can't Okay, and they feel like, you know, well, if this chick is coming on to me and, you know, it's free because, you know, men aren't offered sex that often and it's free and I don't think my wife or my girlfriend will find out about it and when is the next time I'm going to be offered this, you know, they, they just look at it as a gift, like, oh my God, I have to accept this. Or they're not satisfied with the woman they're with. They're like, okay, well, I like her, but I don't know if I like her enough not to cheat on her because I'm a man and I think with my penis. So right now, I'm not concerned about my relationship and all that I can lose. So I'm just going to risk it all and cheat. And so what if I get caught? You know, women forgive men. They know men cheat. They know, they know us. So they'll forgive us if they really want to be with us. That's, they rationalize this in their mind. But what they don't know is that women do forgive cheaters, but they also go and cheat afterwards. It, it might not be physically. It might be emotionally. They might emotionally cheat with another person. They might do something to get some type of revenge that you don't even know about. I mean, you never know. They could go be going out on dates. They might not be sleeping with people, but they could be going out on dates, lunch dates. You don't know. So, that's what I'm saying. And, and some, sometimes when guys cheat and the woman knows she's not going to leave him, but she finds out they cheated, sometimes she won't even confront him. Mm -mm. Sometimes she'll be like, you know what? You know, I'm glad he's got someone to do my my dirty work. Now I don't have to do it anymore. And they just stop sleeping with them. They just slowly say, okay, well, not tonight, honey. Not tonight, honey. I, I, I don't feel good. And they'll just slowly back off from them and not want anything from them, right? And the guy won't even get suspicious until it's too late. The guy will be like, well, I'm getting it somewhere else anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but what he doesn't know is she might start sleeping with somebody else too and just tell that person, oh, we have an arrangement and you don't know about the arrangement. The guy doesn't know about the arrangement, but the woman does. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm trying to say is people cheat for different reasons. Men mostly cheat because they're, uh, they can't please their main woman and that's just it. Uh, a lot of women have very high expectations of their man, but when they chose their man, their man was not at the level that they wanted them to be at. They figured they could improve them. They could upgrade them. They listened to Beyonce that I could upgrade you, but sadly, you sometimes you can't upgrade something. Sometimes it doesn't want to be upgraded. Sometimes it doesn't care to be upgraded. So you're always going to be looking down at it and being like, oh man, this, 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 and that. And they're never going to satisfy you. Okay. That's why you're already supposed to get a self-made, self-ready-made man already. Don't find a man that you have to help build. Don't find a man you got to wait on to be the man you want him to be. Find a man who's already the man you want him to be. Okay. Because otherwise you're going to be 
da, da, da. like I met this I know this one girl she met her husband in college and he was in medical school he was gonna be a doctor da, 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 da. so she married him right he wasn't a doctor yet they weren't he wasn't even grad school yet y'all know how long medical school is so she's like oh she thought she was smart oh I'm gonna get pregnant he can't go in nowhere so she had his baby and he he had to, he had to uh, cut out medical school and just be a teacher because he had to work he had to support the child she had to work you know so he just settled into being a teacher and there's nothing bad about that being a teacher because I commend teachers I'm just saying she thought she was getting ready to marry a doctor so she laid a baby on him and ended up marrying a teacher because he had to take off time to work get money so they could get a house because they had to move out of the dorms because uh, her mom was not taking her back in with no baby then they had to get married and then life happened and then he settled into his role as a teacher never went back to school but she went back to school and got a bachelor's degree in psychology and whatever um but anyway they ended up divorcing because she wanted to be married to someone on her level or higher so ladies when you choose your man don't look at him for his potential look at him for what he is already okay that's why i say go for men a little bit older than you because there's no guarantee they are going to become what you think they're going to become okay because life happens and then you're stuck with something you didn't want okay and i know a lot of people are going to say well what about the love what about this what about that that's fine but when you wanted to marry a doctor and you ended up with a teacher and you blame him for that and you look down on him for that that it's only your fault because you took him before he was what he was supposed to be you know there's this book the alchemist if you read it um this guy saw this girl at the fountain fatima and he was like i love you i want to be with you i want to stay here with you and she says no go do what you gotta do i will be here when you get back come back and get me when you are where you're supposed to be she would not take him as he is she said, no, I'll always be here. I'll wait for you. Go do you first. And when he did, with he, when he finished his journey, got all his knowledge, he came back and got her. And they got married. Okay, so ladies, don't try to grab onto something who's not finished baking in the oven yet. You don't know if it's going to burn. If it's going to be taken out too early. If it's going to taste right. Wait for the finished product. Okay? Women have this luxury. We can marry older men without it looking crazy, okay? We can marry men who are already successful without it looking crazy, okay? This is the norm, okay? Think about it. All right. Um, also, another person asked me, see if I have time to cover this. Another person asked me, does ignoring a man get his attention more? Like if you're interested in somebody, do you ignore them? Well, you ignore them, but you also have to let it be known that you uh, see them, okay? <sighs> smile and keep it moving, you know? If they want to approach you, that smile was an invitation, okay? If they want to approach you, they will come after you. You don't go after any man. You don't chase any man, okay? There is an abundance of men. Like, there is an abundance of men waiting to be with women okay there is an abundance of sex offered to women from men it's actually too much okay um so you have the option to just give one smile and let them do the rest of the work if they don't pursue you they don't want you bad enough and they're not going to treat you right if you are all up in their face and oh hi i'm did it you know they're gonna be like she must be really desperate um, she's coming after me. I'm supposed to be the man. Um, yeah, something, something, something's up. Something's hidden. You know, she probably got five kids. You're going to start thinking something's wrong with you. So you always let the man come to you. Always, always, always. If they don't come to you, they're not a real man. Okay. If they don't come up to you, they don't have a backbone because most men will risk rejection. 
There's something bad about a man who can't risk being rejected. That says a lot about them. That says they easily give up. They don't try. They're mediocre. They don't go for what they truly want, no matter what obstacles are in their way. That's a good judge of character. If a man does not approach you or chase you or come after you, you, you will be settling for a loser, okay? Men go after what they want. Ask any man who wants a job. Ask any man who wants um, a girl. Ask any man, do they go after what they want? Or do they let it come to them? No, men go after what they want. They're aggressive about things, okay? They're competitive, okay? If they don't go after you, they don't really want you. And they won't treat you right, and they'll use you. And it'll be your fault because you should have known if he didn't come after you, he really didn't want you in the first place. That's what they'll say. Oh, well, I didn't pursue you anyway. You came after me. So it is what it is. You know, they'll say something stupid like that. So remember, ladies, don't ever go after a man. There's plenty of men out there that will come after you. Okay. I'll see y'all later and comment below what you think. All right.